Hello guys. Welcome back to another video. And after some time I want to talk about Dr. Music, third generation Cygnus project that had been announced in the middle of October. I was actually planning on addressing what is going on with Leah and also the flaws of the previous Cygnus projects in two different videos, but I plan on adding them into this video since they all tie together. For some reason, CapCut is delaying when using my earbuds, so if that happens in this video, I apologize. So first let's talk about DR Music first Cygnus project. If you don't know that's how Shreya and Gabi got into Black Swan. The first round was basically just showing off your skills online. I believe there was three rounds if I'm not wrong. After Dr. Music limited down the number of people that passed the second round, Gabi and Shreya was picked for the third round and was sent to Korean for Korean language classes and other classes like singing and dancing and whatever. They trained for less than a year because they were rushed into their day debut for promotions and other things like that, in my opinion, because we didn't get a comeback nowhere near when they actually entered into Black Swan. Mind you, Shreya told us a comeback would be in September or October of that year, but actually, we didn't get one until after January of the next year. There was also allegedly only supposed to be one member selected, but they didn't want to separate the girls as they claim which I also think is a lie because they was training the girls to fill in Judy and Young Hyun roles in the group at the time. I don't think DR Music was nice enough to be like, we look at their relationship unless it was influenced by the way the fandom viewed their relationship. Yes, we would have all have been sad, but I don't think choosing one of the girls over the other in the beginning would have had negative affects in that type of way. Other reason I could think was maybe they was scared that Brazilian fans would get mad over the fact if they didn't pick Gabi. But then again, most Brazilian fans didn't really like Gabi and openly expressed that they was only supporting her because of Leah at the time or that they openly hated her because they thought she was trying to replace Leah. They could have also thought Indian fans would become like Leah fans. If Dr. Music really decided on choosing one of the girls though, it would have been Shreya because she mastered the Korean language before Gabi and had better experience with dancing. Both of the girls lacked a lot, and I mean a lot back then. And I personally think Gabi had the biggest change in her overall performance compared to the other members. So I'm not saying both of them shouldn't have been picked. I'm just explaining that it benefited DR Music to add them both into Black Swan because of Young Hyun and Judy leaving and they was probably planning this from the start. But because of this, they debuted too early. Judy and Young Hyun both had years of experience as idols. Even though they wasn't that successful and it would be really selfish to think that these two foreign women that barely knew the Korean language and that was dancing as K-pop cover singers and native dances in their own countries, as well as practicing different types of singing in their own cultures and also having to learn to sing in a completely differently language, could become experienced idols in a few months. This project was never really meant to train the girls, but to improve them enough so that Dr. Music didn't get as much backlash for leaving the victim with her bully in the same group and to help replace the lost talent that helped shape Black Swan at the time. That's why when the girls were announced to have entered into Black Swan so was Y and J departing. This project was a complete joke full of lies, cultural benefits and just staying true to DR Music bad management history. The last member to join Black Swan was also entered into Black Swan through this Cygnus project and she originally auditioned with Shreya and Gabi, but didn't make it. She did end up auditioning again though, and making it into Black Swan. But again, Dr. Music rushed Navi debut with only giving her three months of training. Those three months were in Korea. But if Shreya and Gabi wasn't at the best of their abilities after almost six or seven months of their training, why would you think three to four months would be enough? Gabi and Shreya still was lacking so much even when performing in India. They knew it wouldn't be enough but they needed to debut with four members before they went to India. They also had to have a reason to go to India hint hint Shreya. So what does this all have to do with the first and second Cygnus projects? The Cygnus project opened doors for many non-Asians or non-Koreans that wanted to be K-pop idols, and I respect that. But as of now, Dr. Music is so behind in basic care and management, 
They aren't putting in the full effort into developing their trainees as we can see. Even now after months of being an idol Gabi and Navi still struggle with Korean. I don't really blame the girls knowing how they treated Alex a ex-member from Rania and the first black biracial female K-pop idol. When she was learning the Korean language, they didn't really do anything for her. She had to use translating apps and learn Korean through apps on her phone whenever she had the free time, which was revealed by Alex and a TV show that followed her group. Some may say it was the girls' faults for not knowing Korean to begin with, but it should have been a requirement when auditioning for Black Swan if Dr. Music wasn't going to offer Korean language classes as their main focus. Wen Fatu, who speaks multiple languages, didn't really get comfortable with Korean until after one or two years of learning it. It's unrealistic to think the members would adapt so fast. Now Dr. Music has taken on another Cygnus project called Cygnus Project Third Generation. People say that this won't be to add members into Black Swan but rather start a new group. I think I've talked about this before but DR Music can barely raise one group. If you just look at the history of their previous groups, there are so much discourse and member changes and this and that. Black Swan has gone through so much with Dr. Music's actions and choices. I don't think it would be wise to start thinking about another group so soon when we just got over a mountain of disappointments with Black Swan. Who knows what type of hills and paths lie for us behind. So how does this all tie back to Leah? Leah is still an official member of Black Swan. Black Swan is a five-member group. Unless Dr. Music and Leah end the contract, she will continue to stay in Black Swan. For the past, how many months? Korea's working laws have protected her because she is supposed to be on a mental health break back home. I honestly don't think she will be rejoining Black Swan. I understand yes that Fatou said this was the last lineup change but you never know what DR music might pull. Black Swan itself was originally supposed to be a six-member group. A lot of y'all really triggered of the fact another member might be added this year or in the future and believe me it's a high possibility. All I'm saying is to not be surprised when the trainees are announced and a few weeks or a month later it's confirmed Leah is no longer in the group, or vice versa. Just like in the timeline that I showed you. I've talked about this before but I feel like a lot of y'all act entitled over Black Swan mostly when it comes to member changes. Though yes I don't want any more members either. I'm not going to open a space for people to hate on new members and then a month later act like I've always liked them. Y'all did it with Shreya, Navi, and specifically Gabi. When making this video and getting videos of her Shreya and Gabi old training days it reminded me how y'all hated on her for everything mostly her appearance. That doesn't count for the double standards a lot of y'all leave on Fatou to the point she had to make another album addressing it and the impact it had on her. I'm saying a lot of y'all are two-faced and too busy following on the hate train or better know as the toxic gossip train with toxic pussy claim. Without thinking about your opinions and psychology effects you have on their members' mental health. You know the history of Dr. Music mostly in their Rania days. Why are you surprised? You have a right to not want change every year. But stop acting like it's the idol's faults and acting a type of way towards them when they are just trying to live their dreams like the rest of the Black Swan members. Do I hate this idea of a new Cygnus project? Yes and no I love that Dr. Music is giving more opportunities to those who didn't pass the first two programs and is just opening a space for a diverse community. Diverse groups are getting more common as we move forward in the years to come. But DR Music needs to focus on their priorities and their current members' success. Our fandom also needs a wake-up call. But let's end this video on a good note and look at the new intro I made. I may, or may not have accidentally deleted the cat and mouse one when deleting CapCut templates back to back because CapCut thought it would be a good ideal to put them together. But I digress. I hope you enjoyed this intro. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment for more. And also merry early or late Christmas whenever this is posted. No time.